Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we are talking about the biggest and last creature, well, the biggest bug and the last creature to be added to Ark in Ark Survival Evolved in its development cycle. Now, this thing right here, it's actually really, really wicked cool. But uh, what we're going to... Um, first off, if you're looking for these things, you have to go to the swamps. You just have to. Uh, either the island or Lost Island. Right now, I'm on Lost Island. I will also go show you on... The island where they spawn as well. And these guys, they are slippery. They will get all over the place. So you need to be very, very careful in what you're, uh, in how you handle these things. All right. Now, if you're on the island over here, um, next to the Redwoods, just south of the Redwoods on the map, this is where the Rhino Ignatha typically spawns. Somewhere around here in these trees. And this one right here is a little bit more dangerous than Lost Island. Just be warned. Um, yeah. Now, in order to tame these things, you're going to need to find one out in the wild. Hey, Snail, how you doing? Find one out in the wild first, and then you're going to want to take it down. All right? But uh, in order to take it down, taking down is actually kind of easy. Get that gun. Just like that. And then you kill all the dudes that are coming to eat it. Dude, guys, this is mine. I realize he peed you off, but he's mine. Leave him alone. Guys! Really? Seriously, Stegos? Alright, so this is the kind of stuff you may have to deal with when you're trying to get your Rhino now. Alright, and this right here is his bag. They, they ended up killing him. Alright, let me see. Okay, and this is what we're looking for. So the Stegos did our work for us. All right, we have this right here, the Rhino Agnatha Pheromone. Now, this it has a spoil timer, but... Are, are you just coming back? I thought you were piecing out, dude. It would be so much... Yep, yeah, thank you. All right? All right, back to business. All right, so uh, what you need is one of these uh, Rhino Agnatha Pheromones. That is how you tame it. All right, so now that we've got one of these things, now we have to wait for these guys to respawn. And these guys are actually kind of rare. So, yeah. All right, and then once you have one pulled out of the swamp, you can take your pheromone, put it on a dino, much like a trike or something of the sort. And I need to get out of this way. All right, we're getting... All right. And then once it's like that, you can just net gun it and avoid its stuff. All right, once it's net gunned, in, a net, net gunned, you uh, go up to it, you see just how much health it is, do a little bit of quick math, 61, you make sure you know how much damage your shotgun will do, and you bring it down, just a little bit, uh, and a little bit at a time. All right, let's get you over here, and but they do do a ton of health, or a ton of damage, so yeah. All right, we're going to wait for that to get up, and now we're just going to let them do their little dance. Now, I would recommend while, that while you're taming one, that you pull it away from the swamp. The swamp's over there. It took me a little bit to pull her over here. But it is so much worth it because you just don't have all the additional bad stuff going on. All right, so much like a Reaper Queen, when you're bringing her down, you have to bring her down to pretty low. Uh, this one right here is, yeah, there we go. Now it is impregnated. And once it's impregnated, she's just going to fly off. She's just going to be like, yeah, I'm out of here. I've done my business. Later, loser. Good luck with your walk of shame. And then now we have got this thing right here. Now its food is going to be going down really, really fast. So I'm going to want to take him, and you cannot cryo him. Uh, the whatever the dino is because if you cry him it will kill him now this right here He has a buff it's rhino incubation, which is gonna take 15 minutes But in order for this to go on his food is going to be going down So it will start having cravings weird pregnancy cravings and the weird pregnancy cravings could be anything from uh, element to uh, Just mean weird stuff ice cream and pickles. You never know all right We're gonna try to see if we can get this guy home as quick as possible
All right, now I would recommend when you are bringing them home that you have something akin, you know, just something that can pick up the dino. Grab like a uh, a wyvern or something of the sort. Just go out, grab them, bring them back to base so where you can just do this here because at your base, you're going to have all the stuff that they need for the uh, incubation and, you know, when they get those weird funky cravings. So let's wait for the first one and let's. And I just want to show you some of the weird stuff this can be. All right, see, here we are right here. Golden Hesperornis egg. Good thing there's ducks in my pond. All right, make sure you're gathering those things. All right, now we wait for the next one. Because you are gathering those, right? Because that's a normal thing that every Ark Survivor does. Well, it is now. Right, and I kind of enjoy that. All right, and the next one, Kaelian soup. Like I said, they get some weird cravings. So with these guys, they are not beginning tames. These guys are very much end game tames. So make sure that you are fully ready. Make sure you've got your fridges stocked with all sorts of cool, weird, funky stuff for when you go out Rhino Agnatha taming because you don't want to be caught with your pants down on these things because yeah, that's just bad. Remember when I said there were weird cravings? Well, oh yeah, weird cravings. Apparently, my trike is having pregnancy huffing of gasoline. It's healthy, really. Little Lazarus chowder in your eye. Apparently some more gasoline. This is not healthy. And now that we're down on the last two minutes, now the uh, she is no longer going to have another craving. So we've made it through all that. So the mad frantic running around that I had to do, yeah, it's over. So now we can just kind of just sit still until it's time. And here it goes. Oh, now we've got a baby Rhino Ignatha. Go up to it. You claim it. And even though its mother was, uh, there we go. Even though its mother was level 130, this one is 92. Now, I think it's the amount of time that it takes for um, you to get the stuff to it because it took me a while on a few of these. All right. Now, also, I was kind of for sciencing this a little bit. She eats meat. She prefers the meat. If you put the, them in their inventory, whichever one she takes, that's the one she prefers. So she prefers meat. All right, while they're raising up, all you do is just take, you throw some meat in their inventory, let them sit, and yeah, um, now we're in for a bunch of a wait. Uh, we have to imprint her, but that should be really no big deal. And imprinting is not nearly as uh, difficult as the other ones. This right here is just Tinto Berry. So it's just standard uh, um, imprinting like every other one. All right, now as they grow, they get pretty dang big. This one is about 95%, 96%. Um, but yeah, she's taking a little, little while. But yeah, honestly, watching them grow is kind of cool. The walks, the sound effects on the walks are pretty cool. Uh, they sound like a little mini tank kind of thing or a mech. It's The sound effects on these guys are really good. And just like that, he is up and ready to go. Now, uh, let's take a look at these guys. They have public seating, which is kind of cool, which means that uh, you can have more than one rider on these guys. I'm in single player right now, so I don't have um, access to that. But yeah, let's see. Options. Back. Harvest settings. Behavior. Uh, yeah, nothing too specific here. But uh, yeah, let's get a saddle on these guys. Now, the saddle for these guys is level 90. So, like I said earlier, these guys are not an early game team. But it does take polymer and crystal. So, yeah. I mean, but then again, if you have golden Hesperonis eggs laying around your base, you probably have those things too. All right. But from what I can see is, and playing back the footage, is when uh, they have, the baby has the exact stats of the mother. Uh, this had the exact health. And I don't know about melee damage, but had the exact health, exact colors. So, yeah, here we go. All right, put that inside of you. And then now, yep, it looks like it is a two-person saddle. All right, once you fly on this thing, or the moment you get on it, instantly you have this HUD that pops up in the bottom left-hand corner. And there is a bunch of cool stuff that you can do. Now, uh, I've got some sap laying around here. Let me go get some of that. All right, now sap is the thing that fuels their resin. So you have to have sap inside there. All right, uh, so let's go up like this. And then now we have several different things. 
All right, we've got uh, the ca the carry uh, the carry character. I don't know why that was a tongue twister for me, but yeah, you notice as we're uh, go as uh, we're doing stuff, she'll just be eating that resin. And she'll just be eating the sap and creating resin. Now, this right here becomes the fuel for all of her stuff. Now, uh, you really don't have to worry too much about her weight because she has this astronomical weight stat. 2,217. I keep calling she. This is a guy. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, their stamina does start out kind of low, so that is one of the things you will definitely want to work on on getting them set up. In here, I have my sound effects turned down, but yeah. Okay. I turn this up just so you guys can hear this. That is a straight up helicopter. That is so cool. There we go. All right. So now while we're uh, doing this, uh, the uh, middle mouse button is their carry. All right, just pushing in your wheel. Uh, that's what you do. And then uh, you toggle the uh, oh the resin armor. And if you rebind your keys like me, you have to remember what exactly you have for the C. So Okay, apparently we don't have enough resin. So we're building up resin. Oh, no, there we go. Right, so there, uh, the control C uh, hits up the armor. Now this right here, it it has a uh, timer going down on the bottom left, and you can see about the amount of time that it um, oh that it will last, which is kind of cool. All right, and then uh, the toggle the resin armor is just control. And you just hold right click. And it does, wow, that does a lot of damage fast that's cool all right so and then uh the carry is control left click and that's just you picking up things see if we can pick up one of our uh breeding rexes no okay that's the middle mouse button all right so this right here and this is funky that you can just pick up a Rex just like this. This is something that you just normally don't get. <laughs> it's just being able to pick up a Rex. All right, so now their right, uh, left click attack is just a straight up attack. The right click attack is firing that, all right? So, uh, yeah, all right. And then the toggle keybind help. Uh, yeah, that's the control plus number pad for me. So, yeah, all right. But, yeah, these guys right here, so cool. Such a good addition to the game. Honestly, they are wicked overpowered. Yeah, uh, but honestly, they kind of need it. Uh, wow. But, yeah, anyway, so that's the Rhino Ignatha, and the resin armor still hasn't uh, come off me. Wow. All right. But hey, anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it helps you. Um, yeah. And yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flicker Foo, and take it easy, everybody. I've been sapped. In the making of this video, making of the basics, things can get rather sticky sometimes.